So I'll go ahead and I'll kind of explain the survey one, two, three, the XLS form a little bit here more in depth. So uh, this is gonna be our main tool for constructing our survey. This XLS form is created again when I create a new survey and it's gonna be tied to that survey. So this is going to be all my inputs where I'm going to um, control what fields I see in my survey. I'm going to be able to uh, see how those fields look. I'm going to be able to uh, perform certain calculations or certain requirements for each one of these fields. Uh, but each one of these, again, one of these rows is going to be a question or an item in our survey. So for example, we're going to have in our survey a question about an asset ID. Again, these are fields from my related table. So every field in my related table will be a relevant item in my survey. So kind of to navigate the XLS form, if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel, that'll be uh, handy for you because we're going to be working out of Microsoft Excel. So all of the functions available to us in Excel, we're also going to be able to use to construct our survey forms. Once we get into kind of the meat of our survey form, we're going to be able to see these columns here. And these columns are just going to be able to help us uh, configure the inputs and settings for our survey one, two, three form. Again, the rows, those are gonna be survey items and the columns are going to be how we control uh, certain inputs, functionalities, um, and settings for those, for those rows. So I'll, I'll like to dive into those a little bit later, but I'll finish kind of navigating the basic layout of the, the form as we go. Down at the bottom, we're gonna see, we're gonna have four tabs that we can navigate. Our survey tab, which is again where we're constructing the meat and the, the bones of our survey. The choices tab, which is we're going to be able to set uh, choices for survey answers uh, for our survey questions. So for example, I have a, a specific list name. This time it's for type. And this type is referring to a culvert type. What type of culvert am I looking at? Here's where I'm going to be able to pick some options for my culvert types. So here we can see in the entire list, I've got uh, the different options that my users will be able to select from their survey one, two, three forms. So when it comes to the culvert type question, I can have my users select concrete box, concrete metal pipe culverts, pipe arch culverts, so on and so forth. Here we can create as many lists as possible question answers as we deem fit for our survey. And of course, one choice list can apply to multiple questions in our survey. The next tab we have is the settings tab. And this is going to be some specific configurations for our survey one, two, three form. Here we're going to be able to set the form title of our survey one, two, three form. So I'll call this one covert inspections form. We can see the form ID. This is gonna come in handy for us later on in the second and third webinar, but for now, we'll just kind of breeze through the rest of this in the settings tab. We can see the submission URL. This is the URL for where, uh, when I go and have a user submit a survey in the Survey123 app, this is going to be where that data is going to be submitted to. Here we can see the final tab is another helpful tab that Esri included for us, kind of as a reference uh, and some kind of brief explanation to help us create our surveys. So think of this types as kind of a help list for um, having any quick uh, explanations or um, definitions for, for what we can do within our survey. So this is a helpful tab, again, Esri included for us to kind of help, help direct us and give us some references to some functions we have to do in our survey.